Hi, Drone Pilots. In this video, I'm going to show you how to plan missions with terrain following for Auto EVO and EVO 2 with UGCS and Auto Explorer. Before we proceed, please make sure that you have the latest version of UGCS software. By the time of this recording, the latest version is 4.4 and it's available on our website, ugcs.com. Assuming that you successfully downloaded and installed UGCS, let's prepare a flight plan. UGCS supports 3D map. By default, it uses a SRTM data source, but you can also upload custom elevation and map sources. And in the link below this video, you can find another tutorial explaining how to upload custom elevation sources and map sources to UGCS. Let's build a flight plan. We'll make a photogrammetry mission. For the Autel Evo 2. We check our default configuration of the route. Okay, let's make our flight plan for a photogrammetry survey. So we we assume that takeoff location will be here and then we want to inspect this slope the photogrammetry survey and then we are going to return back home so here is the flight plan also let's change trigger by distance to trigger by time for this flight plan okay and now we know that the drone will make 668 shorts every two seconds and as a result we will get a one centimeter gsd 80 percent forward overlap and six percent side overlap this is a flight plan. What's next? To transmit the file flight plan to Autel Explorer, we need to export it to a KML file. Here in parameters, export KML photogram transmission. And also, we need to change the output format. Autel Explorer can read KML files with points exported as a line string. And also because we want to keep the altitude constant above the terrain, we need to change the altitude type to relative to the ground under the first waypoint. And then we press save. Now we have a file. Let's check this picture. By default, drones count the altitude relative to the GNSS initialization point. In our KML, we export altitudes relative to the elevation level under the first waypoint. So it is very important to put your drone near the first waypoint and take off from this position. That will guarantee that your drone will follow the planned altitudes. Now, when we have our KML file, let's copy it to the Android device with Autel Explorer application and see what is next. Let's open the flight plan on the Android device. In Autel Explorer, press Open, then select the KML file. file is on the screen. Let's check how it looks like. It seems like everything is fine and all the altitudes are relative to the elevation in the first waypoint. But this is the only trajectory. Let's add camera actions. Press edit. Let's configure the camera pitch. I want the camera to look 
straight down to the ground. So I set 90 degrees. And then I want to add some camera actions. Time lapse. And from the UGCS desktop software, we remember that to meet the forward overlap, we have to trigger camera every two seconds. Confirm. Yes. So actions are in place and we also check that all altitudes remain untouched. The only remaining thing is to connect your drone, upload the mission to the drone and take your survey. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We have a lot of cool stuff there. Safe flights and bye.